Good morning. It is currently half past 11 on Saturday morning. I haven't filmed a single thing for the last couple of days. Um, I think before this I might have a little bit of b-roll of like my Christmas tree and stuff, maybe my breakfast this morning, um, but and maybe a walk that I went on a couple of days ago. Oh, I can. I'm going to have to turn that off. It might do that a couple more times during this clip because I can't be bothered to turn it off beforehand. But, um, yes, we are back in business. It's been three days since I've picked anything up because I've been super busy with work and seeing my family and seeing Andy and the football and just a million other things. I, I just don't understand. But we're back in business and I've got a lot of reading to do because I only managed to complete two of my six books in the first part of this readathon. Uh, so I do have these to finish. Now, it doesn't look like a great deal, uh, but I am going to have to interrupt myself a little bit tomorrow for approximately two, maybe three hours because uh, I've got to go pick my boyfriend's flatmate up from the airport. Um, so it is a Sunday and the train's our chaos at the moment in fact there isn't even a train from the airport that i'm picking him up from so i'm gonna go pick him up tomorrow afternoon um but i will be back then in the evening to continue on with my endeavor but this is what i have left to do now if this was a 24 hour readathon i wouldn't be shooting myself about this but i am a little bit concerned i'm not going to get it finished uh however i am 199 pages into potkin and stubs so it's going to be okay and these two are audiobooks and this is a graphic novel so it's going to be okay I am sure that I can manage it so if I could finish like two or three of these today I would be really happy with that and then just be left with one tomorrow that I can continue to interrupt and by that I think I'm going to try and aim to finish Potkin and Stubbs The Secret of Whitestone Gate and Ascender today potentially and then leave myself with it starts with us tomorrow um so that's the plan that's the aim I have uh, almost nothing to do actually. I have a couple presents that I can wrap while I'm audiobooking. I did just buy some more Christmas cards so I can write out my Christmas cards and figure out who I've still got left to buy because I buy, I buy them without a list. Never do that. It's not clever um, and it's not big either. So I do have a couple more bits I can get on with as far as that's concerned. Um, but yeah, other than that, oh, I have some washing I can put away as well. Other than that, I, I don't have a great deal else to do today. Um, I've nipped out this morning for a bit of a walk just to get some fresh air and pick up some Christmas cards, do a couple of errands. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much on it. I do need to finish editing the last vlog so that can go up. Uh, that's the only other thing I need to do and I want to try and do that before sprint start. But I literally have 25 minutes to do that so I don't think that's going to happen. But as long as I can get that pretty much exported before sprint start, that would be great. All I have to do is add the last clip on. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm up to. I'm going to go try and get that the rest of that edited and I will check back in with you in a little bit. Okay, it's literally half past 12. Um, I haven't gotten to read anything yet. We're on our first sprint. I'm just trying to upload the first vlog but i have had a couple deliveries so i thought i would unbox these with you so i'm going to assume this is from a publisher because it doesn't look like it's from amazon let's find out what it is sorry about that that was my mum calling um, and she's away on holiday, so if I didn't get to it, I would have missed her. But um, out of this package is a book that I didn't, I can't remember if I knew was coming or not. I've got no idea. Uh, this is from HarperCollins, uh, but Thomas Nelson. And it is A Wish Trees by Nadine Brands. Now, I have read um, two books from Nadine Brands previously. I have read Forks, which I absolutely adored. I thought it was fantastic. It was a um, Guy Fawkes kind of reimagining and it was great and then Romanoff as well which I really really enjoyed I got rid of both of those books and I'm really gutted about it because they were beautiful books I'm going to see if I can try and locate them again uh, but this is Wish Trees by Nadine Brands on the front it says her tears grant wishes her next tear will end her life at the drop of your next tear you're cursed to die let your emotions never have 
Let your emotions never have release. Let your heart feel eternal torture robbed of relief. May you become as cold as the ice in which you snuffed out life. Interesting. So I am intrigued about that. Thank you very much to HarperCollins for sending me this one. I do appreciate it. Again, can't remember if I requested this or not. The um, perks of ADHD um, is that I get surprises all the time that I set up myself. <laughs> so there is that. And then I do have two parcels here from Illumicrate. I assume one of them is the latest Afterlight book and another one is a order yes okay afterlight let's open this one first um this is what month's this one for well oh november afterlight box this is going up from a um like three monthly subscription to a two monthly subscription and i'm really excited about it i want to get more from them so we do have some socks these are little snowman socks how cute are they um adorable very very cute indeed and then we have this little envelope oh that's really pretty that's definitely going on my tree it is a little snowflake ornament so i will put that on my tree in a minute because my tree is now up which you will have seen already some b-roll of and then we do have a bookmark for the christmas wish by lindsay kelk little advertisement there if you have not read this yet i would recommend it. it's very good very groundhog day-esque type book it's wonderful and then we have a artwork with an author note on the back sorry dear reader letter on the back and then we have the book and we have this Ooh. Make You Mine This Christmas by Lizzie Huxley Jones. Adorable. There are red sprayed edges on this. Very Christmassy. Love that colour. Oh, pretty. Very nice. Okay. Um, and it is signed by the author too. Let's find out what this is about. Love myself a good Christmassy book. Uh, in the go It's the golden rule of pretending to be someone's girlfriend. Don't fall for their sister. Oh my God, I remember the synopsis for this one. After a year from hell, half is ready to blow off steam at a Christmas party. A kind stranger, a few too many drinks, and suddenly she's kissing Christopher under the mistletoe in front of his ex-girlfriend. The next day, the news is out that they're apparently a couple, madly in love and coming to Ox oxley to spend the festive season with christopher's family but half doesn't have better holiday plans and to save her new friend from embarrassment she agrees to pretend to be christopher's girlfriend for christmas it has the making of a hilarious anecdote that they'll, they'll be telling for years until half meets christopher's sister the mysterious magnetic and utterly irresistible kit maybe love was waiting for half in this quiet little town after all i am living for this um so bisexual rep by the sounds of things and i am absolutely here for this one i definitely want to try and get to this one for the festive season just over 300 pages as well so not too long um so nicely done illumicrate right let me pop this lot back in here so i don't lose anything other than my mind okay so that was that one and then in hither we do have oh whoopsie getting myself stuck we do have the next in the delilah green series and it is astrid parker doesn't fail by ashley heron blake i loved um delilah green doesn't care i gave it four stars this has got blue sprayed edges um, and we've read it for Literature Book Club and it was a really good time. So I am excited to have this one. And this one says for Astrid Parker, failure is unacceptable. Every day, ooh, you know what? I'm not going to read that synopsis out because it spoils the first book. But I uh, would recommend reading this one. Astrid is Delilah's sister. Um, well, stepsister. Astrid's mum married delilah's dad um so yeah i'm really excited to get to this one it should be a good time so um yeah happy to have gotten this addition to match my delilah green one was there anything else in here before i throw this on the floor no 
so yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna listen to this while I just sort myself out um, for the last 18 minutes of this sprint. And uh, yeah, I will check back in with you later. Hello, some time has passed. It's now 20 to 6. I'm getting a little tired, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I have some updates for you. So I have finished The Secrets of Whitestone Gate by Julia Noble. So I've now finished this duology, which is very exciting. This is a middle grade mystery adventure type book uh, following Emmy, who's a young girl, and she ends up being sent by her mother to this um, English uh, prestigious school called Wellsworth school um where she meets her new friends lola and jack however they end up finding out that there is this secret order of wellsworth which is a very it's like a group of particularly bad people not all of them are bad in it obviously there's not always bad eggs but the majority of them are bad and they end up finding out some information about uh, emmy that about her dad who used to be part of this society this order um, and they want information from her about her dad and she ends up, you know, they try to kill her and all this bad stuff. It's, very, it's quite sinister for a middle grade, I'm not going to lie. Then this continues on from book one and we continue to follow Emmy and Lola and Jack at school at Wellsworth. They're back for their next year and we continue to follow them with the order continuing to be quite challenging for them. So um, it's a very interesting book and I really did enjoy this. I did give it four stars so I'm really glad to have finished that series off. And then I did just read Ascender Volume 4 as well. This series follows a robot called Tim21. In the first series, Descender, we start off following Tim and um, basically his companion, who is Andy. Andy's human, Tim is a robot. And there are these robots and stuff that they are trying to defeat. In this series, Ascender, magic comes into play. It's many years later. Um, Andy is an older man and Tim... Uh, is trying to save the world essentially and the universe actually as a whole because magic has come into play and the mother would like to destroy many many planets and uh, Tim is trying to help stop that ha happen uh, with the assistance of some friends and it's really really good we mostly follow um, a different character Mila in this one who is um, the daughter of Andy from the first series so it's very, very good. I would recommend it. I ended up giving this one five stars, despite the fact that the ending felt a little bit rushed for me. I feel like it was such a nice way to wrap this series up. And I just felt like it was a really good ending to the entire series. And I really enjoyed it because this has been kind of like a long time coming, especially if you've read, I would recommend reading the Descender series first, which I think is six volumes and this one is four. So this is like 10 volumes long and it's nice to have such a nice ending to it as well. So I was really happy with how this ended and gave it five stars. So that's another series boxed off. 
that's three series down and one that was a continuation station with the friendship pact um and my next goal was to try and finish this however i'm not in the mood to physically read right now um and i kind of need to be in the mood to physically read in order to physically read so i'm going to start an audiobook however my next book on here as an audiobook is is starts with us by colleen hoover i am going to get to this at some point but i just don't think it's going to be now um I have decided after speaking like with Becca before and looking at my TBR while filming my December TBR earlier that I am actually going to pick up War by Laura Thalassa. I'm just going to show it on the screen here because I forgot to pick it up off my TBR cart on the way past. So I am going to read War by Laura Thalassa which isn't a final book but it is a continuation station. It's book two in the Four, Four Horsemen series and um, this series basically follows each of the horsemen with a woman. Um, and they're wreaking havoc on the world and the women are trying to stop them from doing that. I think it's very much so. I don't know how the books differ because obviously I've only read the first one which was Pestilence and I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. But I imagine the book, the plot lines are very, very similar where they're wreaking havoc, their own havoc um, on the world and the women are trying to stop them and romance happens etc so uh, i've decided to pick that one up instead it's a chunky book but i'm going to get the audiobook it's approximately 15 hours um i just fancy an audiobook to be honest and i just i'm really in the mood to pick that one up so i think i'm going to lean into my mood instead of forcing myself to pick up a book that i'm not feeling as much i am very much so feeling it starts with us but i just don't want to read it right now so I'm going to read War instead um, and pick that one up. I am having this sprint to take a break because um, I feel like it's been a little bit non-stop since this morning uh, with everything that I've been doing. So because I went out for a walk, I edited a video, I filmed another video and then I've been on sprints for nearly six hours and I've finished two books. So I am going to take a little bit of a break, make some food and watch a little bit of YouTube just in this sprint and then I will get back to reading. I may only do one more sprint after this or maybe two um, and then I can spend the rest of the evening chilling and reading at my own pace or you know dipping in and out of books, watching movies, doing what I want to do um, and just kind of relaxing really. So I think that's what I'm going to do but I will check back in with you when I've got another update for you and let you know how war is going as well once I've got started on it. So I will check back in with you then. Good morning, it is Sunday and it's currently 9am on Sunday morning. Sprints were moved to 10am uh, two hours earlier than I was planning on doing them because I have to go pick a friend up from the airport at about half four, five o'clock. So I'm going to finish sprints at four-ish. Uh, so yeah, that is where I am up to. Let me... Oh. Let me give you an update on reading because I read quite a lot yesterday. Uh, so obviously I did finish um, The Secret of White Stone Gate and Ascender Volume 4 yesterday. And then I did go into War by Laura Thalassa last night. Um, I started this in the last two sprints, I think, of uh, the... <laughs> sprints yesterday in the last two sprints of the sprints yesterday i'm sorry i've not long since woken up it's been a half hour um and then i decided to go on patreon sprints with jade and gav after those finished um just for a couple of hours it wasn't too long i just wanted to see gate jade and gav's face gade's face um and i wanted to hang out with my patrons for a little bit as well public sprints can be very overwhelming especially if you're hosting which obviously i was yesterday they can be particularly overwhelming so uh sometimes you just want to come off them even if it means you're just going on with your patrons instead or you know you're just reading on your own or whatever but i had a good time yesterday and i ended up making so much progress in this book i did stay up until about 3 a.m but i was reading till about one um and i'm having a good time with this it's very very good we are following at war and we are following miriam what it's called meredith we're following miriam and it is the fall of jerusalem essentially and war is making his way through jerusalem killing everybody um 
one village at a time but he also controls the dead and he keeps bringing the dead back to life and Miriam wants to stop him however Ward's convinced that Miriam is his wife um and you know his beloved etc etc and she is on her way to trying to figure out how to stop him from do it, doing what he's doing. Um, so, fingers crossed she can manage that. However, I am currently 304 pages in. She hasn't done that so far. Uh, things are changing, though. Uh, however, I do think she's genuinely got feelings for him. So, this very much is a much... It's very much much of a muchness <laughs> with pestilence it's very similar storyline essentially one of the four horsemen is making their way through the world um causing havoc in the best way they know how and they fall for a woman and essentially she tries to stop him from doing what he's doing very similar storyline uh what i will say is that once the relationships start to become intimate i do really enjoy that part because um the way Laura Thalassa can write a, a man falling in love is fantastic and I really enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, it's very, it's, I read it, you know, it's not that I'm not enjoying it because I am, it's very quick to get through, it's very easy to read, uh, but I have read it previously. I am very much so into this man though, I'm not going to lie, I'm into him more than Pestilence. So there is that um but yeah i'm into him more than pestilence uh so there is that but yeah i am 304 pages in i have about two hours and 20 minutes of the audiobook left so i am gonna smash that out today and finish this book uh, which is great news and then i am planning on finishing this as well i do want to get through this get it finished get it boxed off i do have how many pages are in this book? 385 and I'm on page 199. So I have just under 200 pages left to read. Is that right? No. Oh, I don't know. The math ain't math in. Either way, I do still really want to get through this. I actually think I might try and finish this first because otherwise it's going to be a slog later on. So I think I might try and finish this first and then I'll finish War. Um, but once I finish those, if there is still time left in the readathon, which there will be because once I get back from picking up my friend, I have the rest of the evening to myself then. Um, I think what I might do, I might go and have a look for a graphic novel maybe, but... I think what I might do is actually start with A Vengeance, which is the literature live show uh, book club read for November because I haven't started it yet and I really need to. The live show has just been announced and it is going to be on Tuesday the 6th of December and I won't have time to read that book next week. So I need to get that picked up and read essentially. So I think I might pick that up unless I'm there's loads of time left and I'm feeling like I want to pick up a graphic novel or something. Um, I'll see. I do have a couple novellas that I could read. They're a part of series as well. So there's that po possibility as well. It just depends on how today goes. But I want to try and get through this first. So that is my first aim. I am going to go and make some breakfast because I am Hank Marvin. Um, and then I will do potentially do a bit of reading while I'm having some breakfast. Um, but I will check back in with you and I've got an update for you. It is now Monday and I am here to wrap this vlog up. I didn't do a great deal of filming yesterday. I do apologise for that. I was uh, very much so on target and I had aims and I wanted to complete them. Um, and then I had to go and pick my friend up from the airport and we ended up going out for a couple of drinks afterwards. So I didn't film a great deal yesterday, but I did manage to complete what I aimed for. I didn't get to It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover, but it's no bother. I swapped it out for another book that ended up being a chunky book, despite it being a continuation station. 
not a final book but it was for a book club so i'm really happy that i've managed to complete it and this is exactly what i managed to complete for the week of final book support group i am so happy with this because there are two really chunky fantasies on here so well one ridiculously chunky and one pretty chunky um, so I'm really really happy not only that but I managed to complete a middle grade that has kind of been haunting me since last year for at least 18 months I would say so and a romance since the like the middle of the year as well not only that so that one as well so what did I manage to complete I did manage to read the friendship pact by Jill Shalvis which is the second in a quartet the last two aren't out yet so I'm now up to date with this one and I did give this one five stars I really enjoyed this one and I had a good time with it so I did love that one then I did read The Righteous by David Rag, which is the second book in the articles of something series i'll write it here um i really enjoyed this one this first one is uh the black hawks um but i really enjoyed this one i had a good time with it very funny i like the comedy in here and i also like the um adventure side of things and the politics and things like that as well i it did get quite dark towards the end like a little bit serious towards the end but i really enjoyed this one and i gave it four stars and i'm glad that i managed to complete the uh, the du duology now so yay um i did complete the secrets of white stone gate by julia noble i really enjoyed this one it was very good i do enjoy these characters and just the fact that it's dark academia but in middle grade i don't know if that's even a thing but it is in this <laughs> um so i did enjoy this one and i gave it four stars it was very good again completed a duology uh, i did read ascender volume four which completes the quartet for the ascender series i had such a good time with this one it was a little bit rushed towards the end which is a little bit of a shame but i did give it four st uh, five stars sorry because i really enjoyed how it ended up and wrapped up the entire series not only that but it wraps up the descender series as well uh, you can read the descender series without reading ascender but I would recommend moving on to Ascender because you continue to follow Tim21 and you find out exactly what happens to him towards the end. So um, I really enjoyed this one. It gave it five stars. Very, very good. Wraps up a quartet. Then I did read Potkin and Stubbs Ghost Catcher, which wraps up a trilogy and um, this is one of the books that's been haunting me for approximately 18 months to a year uh, a year to 18 months even let's do it that way around and i'm so glad that i finally finished this one i think i did struggle with this one a little bit during the week because it was a physical read and i was very much so in the mood for audio booking but i'm so glad that i did in the end i absolutely love following lil potkin and nedley stubbs and also abe and the dog and just the characters in here are so good no matter which book you pick up the characters are always so good and i have such a good time with them so i'm really really happy that i finally finished this quarter it's so good and i would recommend if you are into your middle grades and the supernatural-esque type of thing um would recommend very good four stars and then finally i did read war by laura thalassa which is a um fantasy romance i struggled then fantasy romance and this i am reading for becca's book club the alpha ho book club which is her patreon book club and we are reading this series the four horsemen series at the moment this was november's pick so i'm glad that i've managed to finish it before the end of november it makes me very very happy and very satisfied <laughs> um i have given this four stars we are following war and also a woman called miriam war is on his war path uh through jerusalem and miriam ends up being tied up in it all uh was pretty convinced that she is his wife and he has been waiting for her and her aim is to try and get him to stop what he's doing um so very much so the similar storyline of pestilence uh just with a little bit of difference that's it <laughs> 
but I enjoy them. They're very easy to consume, very easy to read. Um, they're a fun time, so I had a good time with it. I am looking forward to moving on. I think uh, Famine is next and then Death. So Famine in December and Death in January, which I can then read for the next final book support group in January, which I'm really excited about. So a continuation station second in a quartet and i'm really happy i managed to complete that as well so really really happy with my reading this week i managed to get so much done um when i set my tbr at the beginning of the week i wasn't expecting to actually get through it all um so i'm really really glad that i did the fact that i managed to get through righteous in the space of like two days was fantastic and i think that i'm getting my groove back a little bit with fantasy which makes me really really happy because the fantasy i've been reading this year hasn't been adult or high epic fantasy it's been fantasy romance middle grade fantasy ya fantasy so i'm glad to be getting back into that as well um so yeah and the final book support group has meant that i've actually managed to complete one two three four series during this readathon which is great news i think i'm now up to like 18 completed series for the year um it does mean that I also have started 40 odd series for the year as well <laughs> but continued 30 odd so that's great news um you know balance um so yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video I hope you have enjoyed doing final book support group if you've taken part chat to me in the comments down below did you take part how many books did you manage to read did you have a good time what was your favourite book of the week? Uh, and if you didn't take part or you just want to let me know that you're here without actually chatting to me, leave the camp emoji um, in the description box down below and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.